I think I'm very hard working, I'm, I'm very honest, I'm very upfront with my players and my staff. I'm very passionate, that I am. Run at him! Run at him, Zach! Done, finished! <laughs> run with the ball! At him! It's, it's demanding, it's demanding. He's definitely demanding and tough, but the messages in, in his coaching, it's, it gives you confidence and, it, and, it, and it's really, it brings the team together. Nick, you've got to be in there, mate. You've got to be in there. Go and get goals, go and get assists, go create chances, that's my job. So, yeah, that's, that's what he's instilled. I can be very complicated at times, I know that, only because I know how I'm wide and how my brain is wide. I want to see an improvement in the second game. JP, no drinks, huh? Not yet. No, no, I don't need drinks right now, man. You're always on your toes all the time. You know, he'll keep you humble. He'll, he'll be completely 100% honest with you at all times, which is what, what we need, especially as a young, a young player coming through, such as myself. Mate, we're going to play against two blocks of four on the weekend, not one block of four and two sixes. And that's now you being smart enough and football intelligence. To, to improve them and, and see their belief in themselves and get them to a higher level than what they were when they first came to work with me is something that I take great joy out of. And Michael Beecham has the honour of leading out the Western Sydney Wanderers for the first time here at Parramatta Stadium. About bloody time. An area of Sydney which has produced great names like Kuehl, Bosnich, Slater, Schwarzer, Kalats and Ocon will now be inspired by this generation of Wanderers. When the news came out that the Wanderers were born, you know, I was personally ecstatic. I knew, just like a lot of other people, that it would be a success. And the first goal at home for the Wanderers goes to that man again. It always needed to be a club representing the West. It's a hotbed for producing and developing some of the best Australian talent that we've ever seen. Back for Aaron Moy. On the left foot, deflected! Well, I was working at Fox and I became very envious of what they were building and you know, speaking to my boss Murray Shaw at Fox saying, mate, any chance to get me out to one of those games, I'd love to do that rather than stay in the studios. Most of my experiences were just sneaking into the RBB with, with friends and family and back then it was it was unmatched. It was you're buzzing to go to games, whether it was on the train or with your family or with your friends, chanting on the way to the stadium over the bridges in Parramatta, like that was that was electric. That was one of my best memories going back to school really buzzing after a win or crying after a loss, so yeah. Whether you watched it through the lens or you were there live, you were able to capture the colour. You just couldn't stop it. You got to a stage where even though the results sometimes weren't there or a little bit inconsistent, the crowd was and, and the entertainment was and the vibe around the joint was just uh, incredible. to Rodwell! And the new era of the Western Sydney starts with a goal and exactly what Mark Rudin would have asked for. Being a boy from the West myself, it's easy for me to verbalise it because I've lived it. The fight, the grit, you know, the, uh, the never say die attitude, the passion. That, that's, that's what we're about, that's going to be important, that everybody attached to this football club understands that and, and, uh, and lives it day in, day out. One change to next week. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday training, PM. Yeah. Thursday off. Yeah. Okay. One of the big factors for me was trying to bring life back to the football club and, this, and within that, with almost teach the people what this club means to the community and the people of the West. West of Sydney is diverse. It's a very workmanlike area. It, there's over, I think, two to three million people that, that, that call West their home. Back in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s where I grew up, Football was the prevalent sport and that was the, the game that was shared amongst all these communities because they had a lot of fare with, with football. 
became very easy for people like myself to, to integrate into society through football. And I knew exactly what needed to be done, but then, then the hard work began. The key is how do we break down their defence? They will be in a 4-4-2, in a deep block. If you compare this club before Mark and, and after, you can see a lot of difference in terms of, as you say, winning mentality. The players, they starting to understand that every training session, every game, every day we step into this club is important for, 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 for us. 7v7 or the 7v6, player-wise, overload attackers. And then there's some extras at the end. Clear? Let's go, guys. Obviously, this, this club hasn't won a grand final, and that's what we're, we're striving for. We have a squad to do it. We have the mentality to do it. We have the coaching staff to do it. Time to pick his spot, Milanovic! I grew up in Mount Druid, actually. Now I'm living out of Penrith, but yeah, I've always been a Westie. I've always, I've always had the Western values of work hard for what you get. And the grassroots coming up as, as a 10-year-old, as an 11-year-old, that same objective is, is instilled through the club, which is to win a grand final, to be the best team, to be the best player that you can be. It's a lovely ball over the top by Jorik Hendricks. Milanovic to square it. Goal, Western Sydney Wanderers. The West of Sydney forever will be an area that's going to be the hotbed of, of Australian football. And I'll never stop working to bring in all these different communities of the West and letting them know that the Western Sydney Wanderers is their second home and their home away from home where they can enjoy watching a game they love and getting right behind the football club. This is going to be their home and, 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 and a place that they are welcome with open arms.